welcome to Bytes of Code. In this video, we will update our personal assistant to have the ability to open and play Spotify. So we'll just say something like open Spotify, have another if statement for that, and then we'll have the ability to open a Spotify and actually have it start playing some music. So let's go ahead and get started. In order to do this, we're actually going to create a new file open and play.py is what I've named it, but this is just a new Python file that we're going to use. We will add an elif here so that we will ex actually execute the code in this file whenever we say open Spotify or start music or something like that. In this file, we have three modules that we're going to use. We're going to use PyAutoGUI, and we're also going to use time, and we're also going to import psutil. Uh, PyAutoGUI will actually help us interact with the operating system to or actually open Spotify. Time is something that we're going to use for a timeout because this is something that we're going to actually timeout. We're not going to have this run forever. And PSUtil is going to help us to actually identify if this executable is open. So with that, let's start with PyAutoGUI. Pi Auto GUI, we're gonna press the Windows button. And we're just gonna put a little bit of a slowdown in between these keyboard presses, uh, just because sometimes if we press it too quickly, actually the operating system doesn't react fast enough and we'll kind of like skip over the key keyboard presses. So after we press the Windows button, we'll write Spotify. And again, we're gonna give it a little bit of a slowdown. We're gonna do a time.sleep for one second. We'll do again pyautogui.press. In this case, we're gonna be pressing enter. So what this is doing right now, this is pressing the Windows button. It's basically, if you were doing this yourself, you would press the Windows button, type Spotify. So it's kind of like searching for Spotify, the EXE. And then you would press enter to then run that app. So this is kind of mimicking what a human would do, basically. Next, we're going to create a variable program name, Spotify, Spotify.exe. This is going to be used uh, with the PSU tool because here we're actually going to be checking this program name to see if it's open. But first, let's set a timeout. We're going to have a new timeout equal to time dot time. So this is getting the current time plus 120 seconds. So this is um, 120 seconds, two minute timeout. So we're just gonna have this while loop that we have here run, but we're gonna put a timeout on it. But this while loop, the whole purpose of this is to check to see if the uh, Spotify and just say Spotify. Spotify is open. So we're going to check to see if Spotify is open. And how do we do this? We use a for loop for every process in psutil.process iteration iter. Uh, we'll also put a try catch here or try accept. And we're going to catch specifically PSUtil functions or exceptions, we're going to catch PSUtil dot no such process. So, hey, this, you know, didn't exist. This is, isn't in, on the computer at all. PSUtil dot access denied because we're going through all of the processes on the computer. And if one of the process process dot name is equal to our program name then we're just going to print here spotify is open and then we're going to stop our loop break so the whole purpose here is just to check the spot to see if Spotify is open, but it's not just so that we can print Spotify is open. We're actually going to have um, some time where 
kind of creating time because after this, we're going to execute something. And so we'll see why it is kind of important if Spotify is open because we're actually going to be playing music right after Spotify opens, but we can't do this too quickly because if we execute our like plate music function, then if Spotify is not open, then we won't be able to uh, actually start the, the music. Okay, so we're also putting the for else here. Uh, and this is gonna, this specific block is gonna be, if the program's not open, we're gonna be very much wanting to check the timeout because we do not want this to run forever. So we have a timeout here that will actually break the for loop. Timed out, we're gonna break. Else, if we have not timed out, uh, we're just going to wait do a time dot sleep this kind of will give it a little bit of a break and then we'll continue the for loop after that sleep this will kind of just give us a little bit of a break now after here we're gonna actually do a time dot sleep what I've seen is a time dot sleep seven works for me this is just sleeping the program a little bit again before we actually do a Pi Auto GUI keyboard press of space so this is actually what is going to play the music once we actually have Spotify open and we know that Spotify exe is actually open on the operating system we sleep for seven seconds and then we press the space bar and what this does is this allows us to have a little bit of a time for Spotify to actually wake up even though it's open it could still be loading in the background getting the data showing the thumbnail stuff like that so whenever we press the space bar this usually would play the music but if spotify is still loading in the background then pressing space bar will actually not do anything so let's actually save this okay so we did have an error here this time is a capital t and it needs to be a lowercase t so we do have an area that we need to have add here which is if we reach this point, the program is open. So break out of the loop. And so we're just gonna put a break here. So that's gonna help us to actually break out of this while loop. In this case, we have broken out of the for loop here, um, but we also wanna make sure to break out of the while loop. So let's go ahead and try this now. So we see Spotify is open. Now this is when line 37 comes into play where the time sleep. So we're just waiting for Spotify to finish loading. Now once we've waited for Spotify to actually finish loading, then we press the space bar, which is going to play Spotify. Sometimes this may take shorter, it may take longer. So this is kind of like the area I would say to configure to your own setup. Depending on the computer you have, it may take a really long time for Spotify to open, or it may take half a second for Spotify to open. And that's it. Now we have a script that actually opens Spotify and starts playing it in the background. So let's take a look now at how we can incorporate this or integrate this into our personal assistant. And how we're gonna do that is another LF. LF, uh, let's do start music, music. in text dot lower so this is similar as like the one right above it open notepad we're just cap catching the start music the, somebody says start music then let's speak i think we have speak in here opening music i guess we can do starting music starting music and then we do e x e c open parentheses close parentheses and here we're going to do open 
open parentheses, close parentheses, and we're gonna give it a directory. In this case, the directory for me is this, and at the end of the open function, we're gonna do a dot read, open parentheses, close parentheses, and what this is gonna do is this is going to open this file, read the string output, and this executable, or exec, is going to actually execute all of the string inside of it. So we're really just giving this function of giant Python string in order to execute. So let's take a look at this now with our personal assistant. Start music. So we see Spotify is opening up. Now we're kind of waiting, doing that little time sleep and we've caught it so that right when it's finished loading, we press the space bar and you can see it down here that actually it's it's playing. So you can see the progress bar moving the, the seek bar for the song and so we can pause it. So we know that it was playing. So this is something that we used just this script for in order to open and play Spotify. And then we were able to integrate this script into our existing personal assistant so that whenever we say start music, we execute this script or this code. In our next video, we're going to see how we can pause and resume music from Spotify. It'll be a little different because we're actually going to be checking to see if Spotify is already open. If you have any questions on this or any of this isn't working for you, please leave a comment in the comment section. I will reply to you. But thank you so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to follow this tutorial. And I hope to see you at the next video.